Okay, now in this video, we'll talk about some of the basic introduction to TCP IP protocols, some basic overview, and then we'll, we'll see some of the IP addressing which is used inside the TCP IP and what are the versions. So first let us talk about a TCP IP here. Now before we go ahead with the TCP IP, let's try to understand what is protocol. Now in general uh, here, we, we call protocol as a set of rules which anyone has to follow in order to have a proper communication. So that's what we call as protocol. Now in case of network also, if you want two network devices to talk to each other or communicate with each other, we have to follow some set of rules and we call them as protocols here as well. Now in order to have a communication, we can have different range of protocols. Like uh, we have a TCP IP protocol, Department of Defense, they develop this. And then we have some IPX SPX protocol developed by Novel. And then Apple machines develop their own protocols for communication. NetBIOS uh, developed by Microsoft and then OSI by ISO organizations. Like in order to have a communication between the networking devices, initially everyone developed their own protocols. And here in simple way, I can, I can represent this protocols as a language, a language used by them to talk to each other. Now everyone have their own language or own protocol set for communication. So later on TCP IP has been made as a standard language or a standard protocol which everyone supports. Which means let's say if I'm using Windows XP operating system or Windows 7 or Windows 8 operating systems, probably it also supports TCP IP protocol. Now this is something developed by Microsoft again and it is not using the NetBIOS protocol but, but later on TCP IP made as a standard where every vendor should support. Now what is the main reason behind this is the main reason behind this is internet I can say like the internet the, the biggest network which we call it as where everyone is connected this internet is completely built based on TCP IP protocols. So which means if I'm running a Windows XP or Windows machine or an Apple machine, probably if I want to connect my machine to the internet and I should be able to access anything on the internet, my operating system or my device should support TCP IP protocols. So that's the reason why TCP IP has been made as a standard. But initially, if you go back in 80s, probably everyone have their own protocols for, for their own communications. Now. The good thing is, you know, we don't need to get into each and every other protocols because we we only use TCP IP in today's network and we need to understand how TCP IP protocols are going to work and what are the different protocols we are going to use inside that. So TCP IP is a standard protocol which is used to communicate between any two networking devices. It can be between the routers in the LAN or in the WAN or in, in the case of internet as well. Now each and every device in the network again has to be assigned with some address and we call that as IP address. Now inside the TCP IP it has its own addressing just like uh, we, we, we identify each other by based on some names. Everyone have their own individual names. Similar way every device in the network has to be given some address and that address we call it as IP address. Now once we uh, uh, once we assign the IP address, then they, they will identify each other based on that address so that they can communicate with each other. So the basic job of any network administrator or engineer is once we build a network, we need to ensure that every device is recognized on the network based on some kind of numbering or some kind of uh, address and we call here as IP address. So that's what you can see IP address is the logical address given to each and every device in the network. And we call it as a layer three address. A layer three address based on the OSI models. We'll be talking about more in detail on OSI models, what exactly it is uh, in, the, in the separate sessions. But here I'm not getting into uh, complete that layers here, but it is also referred as layer three address. Now there are two different versions announced by uh, by TCP IP. Initially there is a TCP IP IPv4 and then we got some IP version 6. Now the difference is let's say the IP version 4 which was introduced very long back around in 80s I can say when the TCP IP protocols was introduced 
and TCP IP V4 is a 32 bit address which means it's going to support to the power of 32 addresses which means almost 4.3 billion IP addresses it's going to support and it's a very huge number but now later on around in 1993 they realized that the there, there will be a one day where we can come with a shortage of IP addresses whatever we have because of the growth of the internet now internet was growing at a very uh, high speed and the number of people connecting to internet was also growing now to overcome the shortage of the IP address they need to figure out one solution for that and then they said we are going to work out on on a new version of IP addressing and around in 1999 June they announced a new version of IP addressing called IP version 6 which is ready to be implemented tested and verified but parallelly they have come up with another solution called NAT network address translation and this NAT is responsible for still we are surviving with IP version 4 only because of NAT now before NAT let's let's go with before NAT if I have 1000 users who wants to go to internet we need to have 1000 IP addresses which means each and every device has to be given a unique address and you cannot repeat the same address which means every user requires one separate IP address but after the introduction of the NAT NAT is a, is a concept which allows you to have uh, more than 60,000 users can go to internet with only one single IP address now because of this NAT we are still surviving with IP version 4 now we are still using IP version 4 still let's say in 2015 we are still using IP version 4 only because of NAT okay still we have some around 10 to 12 percent of IP addresses available which can be used for internet connections or in other words we can say NAT is hiding your IP version 6 or we can also say that NAT has extended your IP version 4 usage not only that there are some other concepts like submitting uh, those things we'll be discussing more in detail later on sessions so probably in this sections in the beginning sections we are not getting into in details of IPv6 as of now we'll majorly focus on IP version 4 in the coming sections but we have a separate a couple of sections dedicated on IP version 6 so we have some more classes on IPv6 in our CCNA course here and also we have a separate dedicated for the NAT also like what is NAT how it's going to work and then how to configure them on the Cisco routers and how exactly it makes possible where you can have thousands of users can go to internet with only one IP address all those things are covered much more in detail now majorly we got two different versions here we got some IP version 4 and IP version 6 whereas IP version 6 let me give some more idea on this IP version 6 is a 128 bit address written in hexadecimal format so so which means it supports around 2 to the power of 128 addresses almost 3.4 into 10 to the power of 38 addresses where each and every human can get an IP address and even if the internet grows more than double every year for the next 50 years we can survive without any shortage of IP addresses so we'll talk about IPv6 more in detail in the next sessions probably uh, we have a couple of sessions dedicated for that and we also talk about NAT in our CCNA course but the continuation of this video will be mostly will be getting in details of what is IP version 4 how it looks and how we can assign them on the devices